Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below, fool.com forward slash the smattering, to get access to the 10 best stocks to buy right now. Hey everybody, welcome to The Smattering. We are going to talk about QuantumScape today. I'm Jason Hall, joined by Jeff Santoro. Jeff, how's it going? It's going well, man. Happy Friday. I'm excited to talk about QuantumScape. I, I am too. I am too. I'll let you I'll let you kick it off and ask me some questions here. So first of all, do you I, I love this company. I think it's fascinating. So my question is, do you own it and what does it do? I do. I own a very small amount of QuantumScape, like a half less than a half percent of my portfolio. I'll explain why in just a minute, but let's talk quickly first what QuantumScape is. And the the best way to describe QuantumScape is a startup that is promising a better, lower cost, much lighter, much faster charging battery technology than the current lithium ion and other liquid state batteries that are the key to basically electrification across the world, whether we're talking about renewable energy, uh, transportation, which is probably the biggest thing. The, the idea is that the solid state batteries it's looking to develop answer so many of the problems um, solve so many of the problems um, that are affecting the electric vehicle industry right now. Again, they're substantially lighter than those um, liquid state batteries uh, like lithium ion, uh, take a charge much faster. Here's, here's a couple cool things about the company. Uh, the, the underlying technology has been around for a while and they've been developing it for over a decade. The business was founded in 2010. There's been significant uh, capital that's been invested in this business, a couple million, a couple billion dollars. You see there at the bottom, Volkswagen is a joint venture partner, uh, invested in the company when it was private and also invested in its IPO, has a tremendous amount of intellectual property. So those are a lot of positive, positive things. But here's, here's what's not so positive. Since the company went public, the stock price rocketed up and then absolutely collapsed. So this is market cap. So you can see at one point late last year, the company had a market cap above $45 billion. This was more valuable than most of the automakers on, on earth, right? So there was a bubble here that was a lot of EV, automaker, stocks, companies tied to the industry, and the stock price collapsed. And the reason that it collapsed, Jeff, is the company has no revenue. This is a pre-revenue startup. And they're telling us, that they're still multiple years away from commercialization. So when you have a company that's pre-revenue, you see this a lot in the biotech space, but you don't see it right. so much in, in this sector. So when you have a company that's pre-revenue, you know, the, the potential for a quantum scape is exciting, right? It, it, you, if they can bring that technology to market, you could see this being a huge winner, but it's unproven technology. So there's also a chance this stock goes to zero and, and ends up being nothing because the current battery technology progresses to a point where it's not worth it or someone else comes along and there's some other technology. So when you think about adding a company like that to your portfolio, what are some things you have to keep in mind in terms of when to buy, how much to buy, and what to keep an eye on? So I, I think it's a starting point. You have to have a, a good, there has to be a really good case for investing in the company, right? And let's, let's be honest with solid state batteries. There, so you have you have QuantumScape, and there's another company called Solid Power that's working on solid state that's partnered with Ford and I think maybe Daimler and a couple of other companies that's also a startup, uh, publicly traded. But there are hundreds and hundreds of other parties that are working on it. There's lots of private startups. There's lots of research institutions. If you find a research institution, a major engineering college that has a big material science department, they're working on this too. MIT's working on this, right? So, so the the point is that it's there's not even a guarantee that it's going to be one of these public companies that's working on it, that's going to win, right? That's going to be the one that actually gets the IP that it patents that actually works, right? Then, and we know we know it works, but what it has to be able to do is it has to be able to work at scale and at cost, right? So, why do I think QuantumScape in this case is a company that's worth consideration? And it starts with the fact that. You do have some pretty big partners. Volkswagen is, is good, but let's be honest, even the hundreds of millions of dollars that Volkswagen's invested in it is like loose change in the couch cushions for a company like Volkswagen. So I don't overweight that. 
But J.B. Strabel is one of the investors in the company. He's on the board of directors. J.B. Strabel, for folks that don't know, um, is co-founder of Tesla, um, has a startup of his own called Redwood Materials, has a long material science background, led the development of a couple of Tesla's pro- of cars to brought them to market. So we have people that have that work in that industry that understand the science, that are that are invested and involved. So you start there, and 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 that's that's what led me to say, okay, QuantumScape is worth considering. 